How are you guys doing? Uh, today I just want to show you guys a couple sneakers that I picked up this week. Uh, I got two from uh, Bodega and uh, I just got this package in from Nike.com so let's get into it. Alright guys, so the first pick I want to show you today is these uh, Jordan 1's. These are the Pinnacles. And uh, they came out in the Vachetta Tan colorway here. So I'm not, not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but here you go. This is a size tag, so I got a nine and a half. Uh, Air Jordan 1 Pinnacle. And as you can see, it's got that whopping $4 price tag. But uh, in my opinion, I think these are well, de they well deserve that, that high price point. So that's a just quick look at the box. Nothing special, just Nike box. So open up here. Let's take a look at what we got. Um, so yeah, it comes with this like gold retro card kind of thing. Not a retro card, but just it's just a card, similar to a retro card style. Some words on it. Don't really care. Also comes with these nice uh, dust bags. Yes, yeah, so they have gold logos on them, and then they also have these gold uh, lace tips. So. All right, so now we got that out of the way. Let's uh, check a look, take a look at the shoes. All right, so here we go. And uh, damn, these things are so pretty. Uh, in person, the leather is amazing on these shoes. So let's let's take these out. Let's set these aside. Let's take the other pair out and let's uh, get a little bit of a closer look at these things. So here we go, and. Uh, Man, the leather on these is so soft. It's really nice. They're calling it vegetable tan leather. And uh, here we go. They also come with these extra laces in this other. I think they're leather laces. Uh, but overall, the the craftsmanship on the shoe is amazing. Uh, stitching is all on point. Everything about this is high quality. Everything on it. Very premium shoe. And uh, as you can see, it also has these like bronze accents so it's got bronze uh, like lace locks and then the wings logo on this is actually a piece of leather that's been embossed and stitched on in place of where you would normally see the wings logo embossed into the leather um, and then the back tab says 1984 on the left shoe and then the right shoe actually says uh, MJ23 on the back of there and uh, this brushed uh, bronze uh, accents and then, um, yeah, if you take a look at the inside, the leather on the lining of the inside of the shoe is super, super soft. It's probably, I don't know, calfskin leather or something. It feels like uh, most premium sneakers I have that are at this price point usually have this kind of soft calfskin leather lining. And another nice touch is actually have these uh, bronze lace tips on the, on the laces. And then finally, the, take a look at the insoles. And uh, there's also nice little touches on it. It's a quilted leather, nice stitch there. And I thought, you know, just I'd bust out these Nike Lab burnished dunks that came out last year because it just kind of reminded me of this Nike's like cool little play on just a nice uh, leather tonal upper. So yeah, both gorgeous shoes in my opinion. Yeah, so that was a look at the, the Pinnacle ones. So here you go guys, second pickup of the day from Bodega, I got these uh, Asics Gelette 3's in celebration of the 25th anniversary, it's the Bait collab, it's the black on black colorway uh, known as Nightmare, so you got $200 retail price tag on here. Uh, let's open up the box, take a look at the shoes. So in my opinion, they're very very clean colorway, you got um, a bunch of different textures and different material on the shoe and it's all super super high quality. And um, yes, yeah, so let's take it out of the box here and get it all set up so we can get a closer look at these. So you can see you got the black uh, on black upper here. It features smooth suede, uh, smooth leather on the toe box here, as well as this like smaller suede fish scale, I want to say, kind of texture. And then it also has this suede uh, snake skin around the top of the logo here. Uh, yeah, so you can just kind of see it all blends together very nicely and it's just cool to have all these different textures So this is like the smaller fish scale kind of material here And they got leather And again smaller like the smaller fish scale texture here 
and then it features this speckled black and white uh, midsole all around the whole shoe here. If we take a look at the back, you can see the top of the heel tab here has this like black mesh that they feature on the top of the shoe, and then followed by the, the snakeskin, suede snakeskin, leather, and then like the smaller fish scale type uh, texture here. Yeah, so very cool shoe. Um, yeah, it just blends together really nicely, and all the materials are super high quality. It also comes with two different uh, extra sets of laces, too. And then the inside on the insole, one of them says bait, uh, followed by something. It says, like, superior quality or something, and then some numbers, and then 25 Rev ASIC Gel Light 3 or something like that. I don't remember exactly. All right. And then, um, yeah. As you can see, it has this like mesh, metallic mesh on around the tongue and the kind of the upper part of the shoe. So the, the the right side actually, the black side, actually has this bait in silver underneath it that's kind of hard to see, but it has the bait logo there. And then the left side, um, in black under the mesh, it has the same thing that says on the insole. It says like superior quality, 25 um, gel light, three on there so cool touch is very cool details on this shoe and the back the bottom of the shoe has this icy icy sole it's just a6 on one side and bait on the other so again a very nice touch and then the third pickup today uh i got in these uh shipment from nucky.com actually it's gonna be the acronym uh air force lunar ones this is a nike lab release see the price the tag here, we got nine size nine and a half, Lunar Force 1 SP acronym, and uh, had $200 uh, retail price here. So open it up, we got the, the receipt, and let's take a look at these shoes. So I mean, I can understand, this is either a hate or a love it kind of shoe, obviously, I mean, it's got a lot of crazy stuff going on. And I mean, it's definitely a new, something new to the game, you know? So it's got these funky, uh, it's all black upper. It also has these like words on the inside of the box. I'm not sure sure why that's in there, but they have different words. And also like, like a green tag in the box. So the whole upper of this is just, it's all suede. It's just black suede. And then it features these, uh, these zippers with like kind of the inseams uh, inside out. And then it's got the, like the inseam is white. And then, um, we actually have the suede Nike swoosh logo is not stitched all the way on, so the top of the, the tip of the swoosh comes up. It's just a white midsole and uh, Nike Air, so the, the tongue it's got this patch says Nike Air acronym. And then the inside tight is uh, all suede, uh, low, I mean leather lined with the black and white insole as acronym. And then this like black patent leather hand on the rear. And then following that, you can see on the midsole it comes down and they paint that part of the midsole black. Um, and then, yeah, so just a crazy shoe. It's got a black, like, pull tab on the back as well, and then a white box. Yeah, so this also comes with uh, two different lace bags. So you got white, you also got orange. I don't know why the Nike logo's all worn off on that one. So here we go. This is what it looks like with it unzipped so on the inside it has like the part that protects the zipper from zipping up your sock is a uh, black leather and also has acronym embroidered into that and as you can see with here with like even with the unzipped you can even see even more how the, the nike logo stays up and then the tongue on these is actually this uh black leather and it's perforated throughout yeah so uh, that that's about it on the issues i mean very funky these personally grew on me after I saw them because they're so crazy. Now I'm just going to hit you guys a little bit of uh, on-feet footage here and I'm going to shut up and uh, let you guys uh, enjoy.